Up next, the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Armadillo Build-A-Figure Wave Black and Gold Suit Spider-Man from the upcoming film Spider-Man No Way Home. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Now let's talk about it. What a party people in the place. I am the Ruckus and these are my toys. On deck, we have Spider-Man in his black and gold suit taken from the film Spider-Man No Way Home. You can clearly see Spider-Man in his blue and, excuse me, black and gold suit along with his accessories and the Build-A-Figure part. Clear clamshell window. You've got at the top, you've got Build-A-Figure Marvel's Armadillo, Legend series. Below the figure, you see Spider-Man No Way Home, which, um, strangely enough, it's on this, the last figure that I reviewed, J. Jonah Jameson, it didn't have No Way Home uh, below the Spider-Man logo. So that's, that's curious. Then, of course, you've got what it is. It's a black and gold suit and Spider-Man down below. Looking at the side, you've got some artwork of Spider-Man in the black and gold suit. Turning to the back, you've got more artwork of Spider-Man in a black and gold suit. And, of course, he's got his readout. Spider-Man relies on his black and gold suit and abilities to defend against threats. Doesn't say much there. I mean... He's going to defend against threats no matter what he's wearing. He could be in his underwear and he's going to defend against threats. But anyway, below you've got the armadillo. And uh, you see the figures in the wave. You need six to complete building armadillo. Having the integrated suit Spider-Man is not necessary. Then, of course, you've got legalese. Going to the other side, you've got more of that artwork. Then looking at the top spot varnished spider symbol below more legalese and then that's about the size of it so without further ado let's get spider-man out of his packaging so here we have black and gold suit spidey out of his packaging and standing on our display but before we get into him he does come with the left leg to build armadillo and we'll uh, talk about that when we finally get Armadillo put together. Right now, though, we've got the black and gold suit that Spider-Man is uh, going to wear in the film. And um, right off the bat, I, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is inaccurate. Uh, I don't believe... The black and gold suit, as we saw in any trailer, has uh, any red highlights, as we see there uh, in the forearms and the fingers. But um, other than that, the, uh, the 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 figure looks looks well. The line work looks great. We'll see uh, if the uh, lines are sculpted or just painted in when we take a closer look, and we'll do that. Uh, we're gonna do that now. Getting up close and personal with black and gold suit Spidey. You can see he is definitely black. That uh, head sculpt is dark and leaning back, so he's actually getting some light. And um, he's uh, the figure is molded in black, and it has sculpted in line work. All of the, the web meshing that you see is uh, basically uh, sculpted in. If you run your hands across anything, it, uh, you can actually feel the texture so yeah that's that's um they're not just painted in they're uh or i should say painted on their line work and their lines are painted in so it's great with uh, with the gold so as you can see with the head he uh he's got uh the uh, the big white eyes and mine look uh they look pretty good i see no uh there's no uh sloppy paint work going on there and uh, 
the lining around the eyes is black lining, clean. As far as the head sculpt itself, it's looking pretty good. Uh, front and back, everything is painted. And uh, going down the body, you see he's got that line work all throughout from the neck and the shoulders going on down the chest and torso. His spider emblem is also basically sculpted uh, as part of the uh, part of the body and painted uh, lined in that gold paint. And the same thing goes for his lower torso down to his hips. All of that has been painted. And turning to the back, he's got the same thing. The shoulders, he's got the gold work there above the elbows. You've got that same thing. The, uh, the spider logo on his back is painted. I tell you, when it's an MCU figure, they definitely get that treatment, don't they? Paint on the back. And uh, same thing when you talk about the, uh, the other side, his shoulders and his elbows. Um, once again, looking at that red, I don't believe that that's actually uh, part of the costume uh, in the film. Guess uh, we'll see if I'm right or wrong about that. The same thing with the, uh, the fingers. But um, this, it's just probably, you know, the same story. They got the first concept art uh, uh, stuff. And uh, looking down below, looking at his legs, you can see uh, he's got that uh, gold paint there. And this... Uh, this is, this is all painted on, it's not sculpted in, but it looks good, looks really good. It's not sloppy or anything. And he's got the paint on his feet. If you can see that, he's got paint on his feet. So that's all well and good too. It extends to the back of the feet. He's got uh, a couple lines of gold sitting there at the back of his feet. And uh, yeah, and then the other side there too. So, um, that is our black and gold Spider-Man up close. The only accessories black and gold Spidey comes with are an additional set of hands. These are the whipping hands and same story, uh, just different figure. MCU Spider-Man never comes with any wall crawling hands for some reason. But um, yeah, anyway, the, these uh, hands are the same as uh, the ones that he comes with, which are uh, C-grip hands, not even fisted, they're C-grip hands, um, black, and the fingers are red. And uh, yeah, this is all this is all he comes with. Looking at his articulation, his head is on a ball hinge joint, so he can look up that much, look down that much. He can do a 360. He doesn't have much in the way of attitude with the head as far as his arms his shoulders he can get about 90 degrees he can do a 360 he has an excellent excellent butterfly joint both going to the back and forward he gets a lot of movement there he's got a bicep he could do a 360 with that double jointed elbows he's got a swivel at the wrist and it hinges horizontally his ab crunch, you can get that much going forward, that much going back, but that's a lot. He does have waist articulation, the hips, he can do the splits that much, he can move his leg forward that much, back that much, he's got a thigh cut, double jointed knees, and he does have, he can point his toe that far forward that far up he does have ankle pivot and he does have peg holes at the bottom of his feet the spidey with his th whipping hands once again it's the only thing he came with spidey next to a few of his wave mates first up we've got him next to dr strange who also appears in the film and whom i've also reviewed previously next up he's beside game of verse Miles Morales Spider-Man from the PS5 game of the same name. Here he is with J. Jonah Jameson, also from the movie No Way Home. Here we've got him next to the Hasbro PulseCon exclusive Venom from the Spider-Man retro line. 
And last and certainly not least, we've got the superposable Spider-Man, also from the Spider-Man retro line. So to sum it all up, another MCU Spider-Man, another MCU Spider-Man suit, and uh, same old story when it comes to no wall crawling hands. Definitely a downer that we still don't get uh, wall crawling hands with the movie versions of Spider-Man. The uh, as far as this figure is concerned, the gold on the black is just uh, it's banging. It's it's really nice. The costume is inaccurate. I'm quite sure. Uh, I'm going to stick to that until I see that I'm wrong. And then of course I have no problem serving up a retraction. But for now, the costume is inaccurate. But for what we have. It looks good. It's molded in black, and it's got the uh, the gold paint that is just great on there. The uh, the uh, the lines, the web lines, and the spider emblem are sculpted on. So that's definitely a plus. That helps with the the line work being as uh, 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 as as detailed and not as and not. What I'm trying to say is uh, it isn't it isn't sloppy is what I'm trying to say. And um, that works out pretty nice. It looks good, especially in person. Um, if you're tired of clocking MCU Spidey suits, obviously it's a pass for you. If you're a completionist like myself, you're going to jump on it. If you are preferable to MCU figures, you're definitely going to jump on it as well. And um, if you want to complete the Armadillo Builder figure, whether you're an MCU collector or otherwise, you're going to get this figure because you need it in order to complete the armadillo. And uh, I'm going to allow that to segue me into the completion of this review. Thank you guys for rocking with me. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe and smash that bell so you can be notified when I upload another video. Until the next time, my peeps, remember, the hunt continues. And I'm out. Peace.